So today in the ACT, we have recorded 41 new COVID-19 cases. 14 can currently be linked to known cases or ongoing clusters, with 24 still under investigation. Seven were in quarantine during their whole infectious period. Five people spent some time in the community for at least part of their infectious period and may present a risk of transmission to others. A large number of today's cases were not notified until late yesterday, so we're confident that more will be able to be linked to known cases or ongoing clusters, but that investigation is still underway. Uh, however, today, of course, is another reminder that we are likely to see cases going up and down and our overall case numbers increase as restrictions ease. So following the current health directions remains very important as we continue to get through second vaccination doses to give the Canberra community the highest possible level of protection against COVID-19. In relation to hospitalisation, to 8pm last night, we had 15 people in our hospitals, seven people were in ICU, with six of those requiring ventilation. The number of Canberrans aged 12 and over who have received a first dose of vaccine is getting closer to 100%, having passed 96% today. I'm incredibly proud that we're on track to be one of the most vaccinated cities in the world against COVID-19. Of course, like New South Wales, we have reached the 70% double dosed milestone for Canberrans aged 16 and over. But we are focused on the whole eligible population aged 12 and above, which will take a few more days to reach this benchmark. And we're continuing to encourage anyone who hasn't yet had their first dose of vaccine to come forward. There are first dose appointments available today. Yesterday, there were more than three and a half thousand tests conducted. So again, a good number. And again, a reminder that if you have even the mildest symptoms to get tested. And a few people have asked that we specifically list the symptoms of COVID-19. The main symptoms are, or most common symptoms, are fever, cough, sore throat, shortness of breath, loss of sense of smell or taste, a runny or blocked nose. But there are a range of less common symptoms, basically any cold or flu symptom, nausea, muscle aches and pains, any of those could be a symptom of COVID-19. So please go and get tested if you have the mildest of symptoms. In relation to a compliance update, ACT policing are continuing to report a good level of compliance across the ACT. Yesterday, police conducted 70 in-person compliance checks of homes, hotels and businesses and stopped 467 drivers to speak with them about the current health orders. No people were directed to leave the ACT and no infringements or cautions were issued. I'll provide a quick update on the uh, special care nursery case. Unfortunately, a second baby and one team member in the special care nursery at the Centenary Hospital for Women and Children have tested positive for COVID-19 overnight. Investigations into the source of the infection continue but it has also been confirmed that two carers who had been visiting the unit have tested positive for COVID-19. So this is a total of five cases now associated with the special care nursery. There are currently 28 CHS team members who are unable to work as they are in quarantine as a result of this exposure. Given some of the media commentary about this case over the last 24 hours, I do want to note that the Special Care Nursery and the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, Neonatal Intensive Care Unit are not the same thing. And I'd be really grateful to media if you could bear that in mind in your reporting. I would like to again reassure Canberrans that this situation is being expertly handled and that people can feel safe to attend hospital should they require hospital care. 
our health services have strong measures in place to protect everyone, including the use of personal protective equipment, visitor restrictions, and screening for everyone who is entering a health facility. So in summary, for those who joined late, today we have recorded 41 new COVID-19 cases. 14 can be linked to known cases or ongoing clusters, and 24 are still under investigation. Seven were in quarantine during their whole infectious period. Five people spent some time in the community for at least part of their infectious period and may present a risk of transmission to others. There are 15 people in our hospitals, seven in ICU, and six requiring ventilation.